what is going on guys we are back on the Maud South server and today we're gonna to be doing some serious ore processing uh, if you guys know about ore processing we're gonna be doing the second tier which is basically gonna triple the ingots that we're gonna get so it's like we're using an induction smelter uh, from thermal expansion but we're not gonna to need to use extra like slag to get anything from it but uh, before we do that I want to show you guys this door took me so fucking long to make uh, it's got two drawbridges, and the reason it was annoying is because I needed to make it super compact because, I mean, I can't have the drawbridges pulling it up because I don't have a second floor, and so I wanted them to pull it down, but if I want to wire anything under my house, I need to have room. So I think it takes about a a 5 by 4 space for this, for both of these pressure plates to work, and I also filled in the Tinker's Construct clear glass all the way around the house. So I'm thinking it looks pretty nice now, uh, and then my lighting is just with these little glowstone nooks, which are really nice because it's like a full block of glowstone for one sixteenth of a block, or one thirty-second, sixty-fourth, I don't even know. It's a fraction of a block. But yeah, so today we're going to be making uh, this ore processing thing right along this wall here, and we should have one space left. So the first thing we are going to need is an electric pump. Now I have the water set up over here already. Um, I think I have most of the stuff that we need. Electric. Electric pump, and right here. So, we are going to need three osmium. I have all this, and then the steel casing. Um, I can finish making the steel right now. There's ten redstone that we can dump. Put the coal back in, and turn the enriched iron into steel. I really hate having to do this because I usually dump out more of the uh, carbon or the redstone and then I end up needing it again but I don't really know if there's a better way to store it so we'll see about that. While we wait for this to finish we can actually jump in. The next thing we're going to need is an electrolytic separator to get oxygen. Electrolytic separator. There we go which is going to require we have everything except this electrolytic core so we're going to need to pulverize some osmium two ingots worth and then pulverized iron and pulverized gold it's simple enough uh... okay we got gold right there and I guess I can grab some iron from over at our tinkers construct little area over here this thing has been blown up, or almost blown up, I think three times so far. Each time it clip, it like almost clips it. It's like one block away, and it would have blown it up. Oh, and I was recording earlier, and I was in the middle of recording, and I realized my mic was muted, and I hadn't really done anything significant, but the beginning of the video, and I deleted the footage already because it was completely useless, but the beginning of the video, I had this like matrix moment out there in the back, where I was starting looking off towards the wind turbines because I had added one more and I was talking about that and then I whip around because I hear a creeper and hit it away and kill it before it can blow up and it was it was pretty crazy uh, it's never gonna happen again so unfortunately I mean I was like that's the best intro I'm ever gonna have but still we're never gonna be able to see it again it's gone gone with the wind uh, okay we have everything we need for this Okay, now what else? We need four iron. Oh my god, I should have grabbed more iron while I was over there. It looks like we have like no iron over here, but making it into blocks like chunked all the iron. So I'm gonna take a block out here and make it. Oh my god, I hate that. You can't swap inventories if you have it on your your mouse. Taking some of this iron out. And then I'll pay for it later with the tripling of the ingots instead of just doubling of them. I think we have everything else. I'm getting some weird FPS lag on the server. Uh, usually it's from it like raining so much on here. Wait, I don't need to make this. One, two. There we go. And here. So this is going to go next to the pump. The pump is going to go over the water, so this is going to go next to it. I think that's right. I don't know if it matters which way it's turned. Dumping? Okay. Uh, 
hopefully we don't have to turn it around. We have this, so we just need to cook this now. Do I have any coal on me to cook with? Hmm. I actually don't think I do. We can use wood for the time being. Okay, I have my furnace right here. I was going to make a redstone furnace, but then I didn't have the stuff for it. So then I just kind of quit at making that. I'll have to do that later off camera. Because that's like super useful since I don't feel like mining for coal all the time. Okay, so while that's cooking, the next thing that we're going to need to make is going to be the raw ore and the oxygen are going to go into a purification chamber. And yes, I am reading something about this on the side of my screen. Okay. Purification chamber. So this one's costs a little bit more. The advanced control circuits cost a basic control circuit and then two of these. I think I accounted for the amount of enriched alloy we're going to need though. Um, so we're going to need two enrichment chambers. And this one's actually pretty easy. We need the steel for this one though too. So this is going to... While we're doing that, we can... Uh, we can go in and turn down the chunks since we don't really need those right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot smoother. We're inside. We don't really need a bunch of chunks loaded. Okay, we can start making whatever we can get from this one thing of steel. Osmium in the center. Steel casing. Which is going to be used for the... Is it going to be used for this? Yeah, it is. Okay, we can make that now. For some reason, I keep wanting to walk over there, but my crafting bench is over here. I don't know why. I feel compelled to walk in that direction. There we go. Okay. So, this is not taking in fluid right now. What's up with this? Oh, they need to be powered. Uh, hmm, how am I going to wire this? It's actually a really good question. I should move it out one. If I move it out one, then we can just wire it right behind and then cover it up with something that doesn't look so gross. So I'm going to move the water out here now. I don't want to do this. Put a bucket right there. Bucket. Need inventory space. Desperately. We just wanted to have a corner block showing so we will have... We can get rid of the water there. The water there rid of that and then I like to fill it in with this factory block just because it looks a little bit nicer instead of having dirt there okay now we should be able to run this wiring behind it after the universal cable we can just run it under the floor uh, and pull it up back there somehow uh, so yeah that'll go right there oh you know what is that what it does you have to like click it onto the side of a block Okay, so let's try this. Let's throw this down here. And then let's click it onto the side of it. Now, why did it do that to the other block then? Do I have to place it like this? Okay, so now it's pointing over here. So I'm guessing if it gets power, it'll work. Let's try it. We can move this if I grab my crescent wrench hammer. Let's move this over here and see if it can can work. No, it should be outputting on that side. Huh, interesting. You know what? I'll get this. I'll get the whole setup working, and then we'll we'll worry about whether or not it's gonna actually go. Okay, so the next thing that we need to get right now is the, we have the pump separator, then we're going to need the purification chamber, so the steel should be fully cooked now. And was I doing anything over here? No, okay. Purification chamber, so we need two of these, we have the basic controls, we need two sets of steel casing. I'm going to need to make more osmium soon. So we have this two steel casings. Iron. Redstone. Two of these. 
Okay, so there we have the enrichment. Can these not stack? Wow. Just toss some stuff in here for the time being. Okay, so now we need two osmium for those, and we need to use a lot of that. So, get two of these that we need. Osmium, those. I hate that we have to use so much enriched alloy for this. I feel like it's, it's a waste, except it really isn't, but it feels like it is. So then we're going to put the purification chamber next to it. That's going to give us, like, clumps. And the clumps have to go into a crusher. I feel like a crusher is basically the equivalent of a pulverizer, so I don't know if it really matters. Ooh, you know what? We're going to need more steel. We only have two steel right now. Do we have any extra steel in here? No, we do not. Uh, what's in here right now? Coal. We can throw iron in there. We're going to need a little bit more coal. We can use charcoal if we need to. And some more iron. We should be good. We only need two more. Which requires one piece of charcoal. There we go. Charcoal. Oh no, you know what? We're going to need one more piece of charcoal because we're going to need ten for each enriched iron to be made back into steel. Is the crusher the last thing that we're going to need? Yep, crusher. Oh no, we're going to need an energized smelter too, so we may actually need even more. I don't think an energized smelter is going to require it, but we will see. While we're waiting, let's, let's check this out. Oh, it is. It is indeed going to require it. Okay, so I guess we can make some extra. We'll keep this cooking over here. Man, I am so out of wood right now. It's like pathetically desperate. Oh man, I need more furnace space. Huh. What can we do? So wait, we're going to have the purification chamber. Which is going to give us clumps. We're going to have the crusher. Then we're going to have the enrichment chamber right there. Uh, we can take it out after two. Put those in there. Start cooking up this stuff. We can use the rubber wood to cook that up. And then we'll have the steel we need for the energized smelter at least. And we're probably going to need more basic control units too. Probably one more, I think. I don't know. I thought I had relative... Like, I would have had enough if we didn't need to make the energized smelter, but we do. So. Let's see this. Redstone. Does that have to be stained glass, or can it just be non-stained glass? Where to put my sand? Right there. Get two pieces of glass from that. Metallurgic confuser is going to need four more pieces of iron. Steal one more from over here. Love that door, by the way. Looks really cool. So it's fully glass. Take one more piece of iron. I apologize to anyone who might need iron in the future that's not going to get any, but I need that iron, so. And then we're going to need, we're going to need like one more piece of charcoal, I think, to finish this whole thing up. So this is going to require glass, the redstone, casing, and then the controls. Energized smelter. It's going to go right there. I hope this doesn't have to be going in the opposite direction, because it might... I don't know though. How about this? Yeah, see I think it's it's like it looks like it would the way they're facing. I don't know though. Oh no, I guess the configuration is okay. It's really weird though that you can't like see where it's okay. Put those back in. Oh, that's right, we needed one more piece of charcoal. There we go. Fuck yeah. Then this can stay in there to 
cook the steel dust and that will be it for making the crusher I do believe oh no it's gonna need one more basic control oh you're gonna need two lava buckets okay okay I need to go get those while we're doing this I can get them pretty easily I can dump this water somewhere over here somewhere no one's gonna accidentally run into it boom right there there's a couple extra buckets over here that people are using to transport lava up. Ooh, can I just grab it from there? Damn it. I got one bucket. There's uh there's some more in my mine. Got the carpenters' hatches covering them so it doesn't look like shit. And someone has cleared my mine out so much that it's turned into like a slime farm down here, which I guess really isn't a bad thing, it's just kind of obnoxious. Yeah, see, someone was using this, and I have no problem with that, but now there's slime spawning all all over the place down here. Did I get a second bucket of lava? Wait, what happened? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Yeah, I don't really feel like dealing with that. I just kind of wish the person had stuck to using a strip mine, rather than clearing out the entire fucking place with a turtle. At least, that's what I assume they were using. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. What are we looking at now? Got these. We need to dump that. I don't think there's actually any left. Get the redstone in and one piece of osmium. And then these need to be cooked. And that is that. We can start working on the cables. I'll probably do this part off camera. Figuring out how to hook up the cables. Yeah, because I'm going to have to make more steel for that. Do that off camera, I guess. Unless I have cables in here. Oh no wait no I ran them all up there. So I think I'm fresh out of cables. Yeah. Okay. We have this. Steel's almost cooked and we have just enough osmium. The redstone, come on, come on. It's like watching paint dry. There we go. Got those. And boom. Crusher. That's going to need to go right there. And what I'll probably do is I'll keep the windows there, but I might like put something over the ceiling so this is like a flat wall here with windows looking out right behind that too. I don't know. We'll see. Uh I will jump back though once we have every part of this powered and I'll run through how I powered it then so I'll see you guys in a bit okay guys so we are back and I changed a, a little bit of this uh, like the setup I changed it so I flipped it around and that's mainly because the electrolytic separator would have to be backwards if it was the other way around because you pump it out of the side with the red on it the blue is going to be the hydrogen the red is the oxygen now there is one flaw with this system right now and that's gonna be my cables now those are the basic cables, they only carry 500 joules per tick, uh, and this thing uses up a lot. So we need to be pumping more kilojoules per tick. I don't know if it's the fact that these aren't producing enough, or that it's not going fast enough. I think it's going to be both once I get the next upgraded uh, cables in there. But to do that, I'm going to need to take all of them take them all out and replace them and use some enriched alloy so it's not going to be too difficult but I just I'm gonna have to go back through I'll do that before next video but for now the setup is done uh, I just flipped it around same as the other time though uh, and then I go into the configuration and turn auto eject on and it should have already yeah it made three we'll uh, we'll throw another piece of iron in here I'm gonna put a hopper on top of the purification chamber soon but as you can see it really drains the oxygen like it's just to do one piece it's draining a crap load of this and I have enough water in here uh, it's just a matter of getting more oxygen produced because we need more energy uh, but these don't seem to burn through too much energy so then it makes the iron clumps which then come in here and it puts those into the dirty iron dust which gets turned into regular like iron dust which then gets smelted 
and I'll probably put like a hopper below this and like a chest right here until we have an AE system. Uh, but yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. And the, I'm not actually going to do a wall. I think covering it with the cobblestone covers is enough. Unfortunately, uh, after you get done with all these full blocks, you can kind of see back there, but that's not too much of a problem. And also, uh, it doesn't blend together. Like, this blends together without having the side, like, for each block. Whereas these have, like, individual sides. They don't, they're not seamless. But that's, uh... That's not really that much of a problem with the with this. I'll figure out a way to fix it later if I really want to, but for now it's fine. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode today. If you did, feel free to give it a like. And if you guys need any help with setting this up, you can just post in the description. I'll try and help you out. It's not too complicated. Um, and if you want to see my upcoming videos on the Mod Sauce server, you guys can subscribe because I'm going to be putting out a video every day. And for the other members of the server, their channel links are in the description along with where you can download the AT Launcher, which also allows you to get the Mod Sauce Pack. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.